Hare Krishna, everyone. Hare Krishna. So here we are reading Bhagavatam again, and uh, we are next to a blank wall. <laughs> We've merged. If it was a green screen, we could put something exciting behind it, but We've we're merged just into the merged into the Brahma Jyoti. We're just having a quiet evening in this evening. So. <laughs> Okay. Right. Canto 4, Chapter 21, Text 38. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Text 38 the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the Ancient Eternal Godhead, who is foremost amongst all great personalities, obtained the opulence of his staunch reputation, which purifies the entire universe by worshipping the lotus feet of those Brahmanas and Vaishnavas. Papa. The Supreme Person is described herein as Brahmanya Deva. Brahmanya refers to the Brahmanas the Vaishnavas or the Brahminical culture and Deva means worshipful Lord. Therefore, unless one is on the transcendental platform of being a Vaishnava or on the highest platform of material goodness as a Brahmana, he cannot appreciate the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the lower stages of ignorance and passion, it is difficult to appreciate or understand the Supreme Lord. Therefore, the Lord is described herein as the worshipable deity for persons in Brahminical and Vaishnav culture. Namo Brahmanya Devayago Brahmanya Hitaya Cha Jagatite Krishna Govinda Namo Namaha. That's from the Vishnu Purana. Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is the prime protector of Brahminical culture and the cat. Without knowing and respecting these, one cannot realize the science of God. And without this knowledge and welfare, any welfare activities or humanitarian propaganda cannot be successful. The Lord is Purusha or the Supreme Enjoyer. Not only is he the enjoyer when he appears as the manifested incarnation, but he is the enjoyer since time immemorial from the very beginning Puratana and eternally Nityam Yacharana Divan Danat. Prithu Maharaj said that the Supreme Personality of Godhead attained this opulence of eternal fame simply by worshipping the lotus feet of the Brahmanas. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is said that the Lord does not need to work to achieve material gain. Since he is perpetually supremely perfect he does not need to obtain anything but still it is said that he obtained his opulences by worshipping the lotus feet of the brahmanas these are his exemplary actions when lord sri krishna was in dwarka he offered his respects by bowing down at the lotus feet of narada when Su sudama vipra came to his house Lord Krishna personally washed his feet and gave him a seat on his personal bed. Although he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna offered his respects to Maharaj Yudhista and Kunti. The Lord's exemplary behavior is to teach us. We should learn from his personal behavior how to give protection to the cow how to cultivate Brahminical qualities and how to respect the Brahmanas and the Vaishnavas. The Lord says in Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 3, Text 21, Yad Yad Acharati Shrestha Tat Tad Eva Tarojana. If the leading personalities behave in a certain manner, others follow them automatically. Who can be more of a leading personality than the Supreme Personality of Godhead and whose behaviour could be more exemplary? It is not that he needed to do all these things to acquire material gain, but all of these acts were performed just to teach us how to behave in this material world. Hmm, powerful point about acting like, what do they say? Walk your talk? Mm -hmm. You know? 
about leading by example, about how like Prabhupada is saying here, his behavior, you know, he's exemplary, he's leading, he's teaching us how to behave, and I think, so it's a powerful point in that, you know, it's it's like, it's a, it's like a common joke or it's accepted, oh, politicians, and people make fun, oh, meaning it's the, it's the, politicians are derided, you know, it's quite rare to find a politician and I'm sure there is, but it's rare where it's, they're genuinely respected. You know, mm. if you if you meet someone, or maybe someone like your son or daughter, whoever brings someone home and says, "What do you do?" Oh, I'm a politician. Oh, you know. So, and yet, the importance of being, you know, and, and what I'm trying to say is, it's like it's so unfortunate that. I use politicians as an example because in terms of like being the highest leaders as it were but we don't expect them to lead through some example you know we just want to know how much taxes are you going to take from me who's going to help me the best in how to enjoy because for sure you're enjoying you know mm. outside of your image or happy family life or whatever so anyway what you know, the point is I think it's very um, powerful this point about leaders setting the example and leader doesn't I use politician it can we're all leaders even if you think oh, I don't work or I don't have this position or you're still leading an example in some way and it's just really powerful to not be like I guess a hypocrite you know and like fake almost it's, it's very purifying to just be who you are just be who you are you know what if who you are is a fake or a hypocrite no you're not a fake or a hypocrite hmm? no they're not <laughs> because it's fake what's fake fake means it's not real You're not really a fake. That's not real. So what's going on behind that pretend mask? Mm -hmm. So anyway, just read the next paragraph. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, I found it interesting how <coughs> that, of course, Prophet mentions how who can be a greater leader than God. <laughs> but the verse itself says that he obtained the opulence of his staunch reputation because he worships the lotus feet of the Brahmanas and the Vaishnavas. Now, um, an interesting thing is that, of course, it might be someone might argue or call into question, but Brahminical culture is clearly mentioned. But the word Vaishnava isn't. It isn't mentioned. And it also isn't mentioned in the previous verse that glorifies, Prabhupada glorifies the Vaishnavas. Now, um, it could certainly be extrapolated that a Vaishnava, someone who clearly worships Vishnu, or worships God, worships Krishna, if he... If he appreciates the brahmanas then how much more he's going to appreciate someone who worships him directly but the verse isn't there but the word isn't there but it's explaining that god got his position because of his propensity to worship his devotees that's quite powerful it's quite a powerful statement so in that way he is a leader who encourages the worship of his devotees and he sets the example, so he's not a hypocrite, kind of thing, because even he himself worships his devotees. And the and the last paragraph, this is a, was like some burning, did it? Smell it. Smell it. The supreme personality of Godhead is described herein as Mahatma. Agranihi, 
Within this material world, the Mahatmas or great personalities are Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva, but he is above them all. Narayano Paro Vyaktat. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is in a transcendental position above everything created within this material world. His opulence, his riches, his beauty, his wisdom, his knowledge, his renunciation, and his reputation are all Jagat Pavitram, universally purifying. The word, the more we discuss his opulences, the more the universe becomes purer and purer. Wow, that's powerful. In the material world, the opulences possessed by a material person are never fixed. Today, one may be a very rich man, but tomorrow he may become poor. Today, one is very famous, but tomorrow he may be infamous. Materially obtained opulences are never fixed, but all six opulences perpetually exist in the Supreme Personality of Godhead, not only in the spiritual world, but also in this material world. Lord Krishna's reputation is fixed, and his book of wisdom, Bhagavad Gita, is still honored. Everything pertaining to the Supreme Personality of Godhead is eternally existing. Yeah, that's quite a powerful thing. That Yes, opulences manifest within us also, um, his you know, parts and parcels, but it's temporary, temporarily manifested. Uh, but in Krishna, it's always uh, permanently residing. You don't smell that? No. Permanently residing there. It's crazy. It's like, there's something burning. Yeah, I hope it's something. Maybe someone cooking something. It probably is. It's pretty nasty. Um, I don't know why, but somehow when it said one may be famous today and infamous tomorrow, um, mm -hmm. It reminded me of something I've seen recently in the news. Um, uh, what's his leader of this famous band? Yeah. Uh, oh, he was the he was the drummer for Nirvana, okay. and then he went on to lead his own band that became quite famous. And I don't I was never uh, never listened to him. His name's Dave Dave Grohl or something I think. Right. Okay. But um he uh. Yeah, I mean, it made me think, because most rock and roll people are more notorious than they are, uh, fam you know, they're famous, but they're also not known as nice people. But yeah. somehow it's just come out that he had a, uh, he's been married for many, many years, but he, uh, it's just come out that he had a illegitimate son by someone, and the son is like 20-some years old, and he knew about it. And because of that, they just had to cancel some some festival spots or something and I'm thinking oh. that's it's kind of funny because it just goes to show how respected he must have been mm -hmm. that when something like that comes out mm -hmm. it's like the integrity is shattered and he, they feel awkward about doing a concert mm -hmm. meanwhile you got most people who are famous rock stars they're like you know the more nasty they can be mm -hmm. you know the better on those mm -hmm. kind of things but anyway, I, it, that kind of came out of left field. But the point being that one day you're like, you know, on top of the world. And the next day you're like, people think, you know, they don't like you. So it's really about uh, finding within ourselves and being, as you were saying a little earlier, like being who we really are and actually being happy and content with that. And, and also having some integrity, you know, like that. Mm. Let's see. Next one is... Text 39. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is everlastingly independent and who exists in everyone's heart, is very pleased with those who follow in his footsteps and engage without reservation in the service of the descendants of Brahmanas and Vaishnavas, for he is always dear to Brahmanas and Vaishnavas, and they are always dear to him. Papa. It is said that the Lord is most pleased when he sees one engage in the service of his devotee. He does not need any service from anyone because he is complete. But it is in our own interest to offer all kinds of services to the Supreme Personage of Godhead. 
these services can be offered to the Supreme Person not directly but through the service of Brahmanas and Vaishnavas. Srila Narottam Das Thakur sings Charya Vaishnava Seva Nishtara Bhayache Keva which means that unless one serves as Vaishnavas and Brahmanas one cannot get liberation from the material clutches. Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur also says Yashya Prasada Bhagavat Prasada by satisfying the senses of the spiritual master one can satisfy the senses of the supreme hearse nature of Godhead. Thus this behaviour is not only mentioned in scriptures but also followed by acharyas. Prithu Maharaj advised his citizens to follow the exam exemplary behaviour of the Lord himself and thus engage in the service of Brahmanas and Vaishnavas. Vaishna, Vaishna, Vaishna. Mm. Uh, okay. So anyway, yeah, we should serve the Brahmanas of Vaishnavas. <laughs> it's said in the pulpit that the Lord is most pleased when he sees one engage in the service of his devotee. He does not need service from anyone because he is complete. I guess this thing can relates what devotee care is basically and it's a sure shot is that all a sure shot sure shot that sure shot yeah. yeah way of um making progress in krishna consciousness and you know often it's like how can i please you god how can how's krishna gonna notice me how can you know well he just wants you to look after his devotees basically um, and it's nice what Prabhupada says that he don't actually, you know, Krishna himself, he don't need anything. I'm not saying therefore we neglect him and neglect the deity form and just go wild. Mm -hmm. But the point being that, as we've actually, there have been verses in our readings that sometimes in the Kanishta, the beginning stage, it's all about Krishna. And I don't notice the people around him. You know how I'm affecting the devotees, whether it's literally serving the deity form or otherwise. That's but that's that's not pleasing to Krishna because he's like, oh, that's nice. You distribute all these books or you did all this service or blah 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 blah. But but yeah, devotees ain't pleased with you. You know. <laughs> so my point is that we got to switch that around. Not that we neglect, like I said, worshiping the Lord, but understanding that how I can ultimately worship the Lord is to think of different ways to just make the devotees happy, you know? Mm. And if they're happy, then that's a barometer of pleasing Krishna. Yeah, very nice, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, it doesn't say that... Uh, I thought... Well, it, yeah, yeah. I thought it said somewhere that if one doesn't do this, then yeah, it's not pleasing to the Lord. But yeah, it doesn't say that. It implies it by saying that the Lord is pleased by this. Yeah, I was thinking these are really wonderful verses for devotee care, and mm. uh, we should uh, somehow lift lift these out and mm. share them. Yes, for sure. <clears throat> Beautiful. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. Remember that how important it is to. Uh, to serve the devotees and the and the Lord is ultimately pleased when we please his devotees and it you know comes to mind the famous you know one who is my devotee one who thinks he's my devotee is not my devotee but one who is the devotee of my devotee he is actually my devotee so this uh, mm -hmm. famous statement by uh, Krishna uh, to Arjuna so um, yeah it's beautiful so like that thank you very much for thank tuning you. in and reading with us, um, Hare Krishna. 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 Hare